Greetings and welcome to the next video. This video we will talk about Sun Tzu and who he was. Let me tell you, Sun Tzu was a Chinese general, a military strategist and philosopher who lived during the Eastern Sou period, which was around 544 and 496 before Christ. He is best known for his famous book, The Art of War, which is considered one of the most influential works on military strategy and tactics. Despite the book's fame, not much is known about the Sun Tzu's life, and many details are still shrouded in mystery. However, several interesting events in his life have been recorded in historical text and legends. One of the most famous stories about the Sun Tzu concerning his meeting with the king of Wu, Helu. According to legend, Sun Tzu was brought before the king who asked him to train his soldiers. To demonstrate his skill, Sun Tzu assembled some palace women and organized them into military formation. When he gave the women a series of commands, they followed them perfectly, much to the amazement of the king and his court. Impressed with the Sun Tzu demonstration, the king appointed him as his general and put him in charge of the Wu army. Sun Tzu then proceeded to lead the Wu army to victory against several neighboring states. Using his strategic and tactical skills to outmaneuver his opponents. Another interesting event in Sun Tzu's life concerns his encounter with a rival general, Pang Huang. According to the story, Sun Tzu was captured by Pang Huang and brought before him. Instead of showing fear, Sun Tzu began to teach Pang Huang about military strategy, using the opportunity to undermine his capture's confidence. Sun Tzu explained that the best way to defeat an enemy was to attack their strategy rather than their troops. He then proceeded to give Pang Huang several examples how this could be done. Impressed by the Sun Tzu insight, Pang Huang released him and even became his disciple. Overall, Sun Tzu life was filled with many interesting events and stories that reflect his genius as a military strategist and philosopher. His ideas and teachings continue to be studied and applied to this day, making him the most enduring figures in the Chinese history. Thank you all and peace out you two.